Hi guys, welcome to Cat Plays It. Today we're playing Grounded from the very beginning and I'm here with Ken. Say hi Ken. Hello everybody. So here we go. Run from me you foul beast. <laughs> you think you outsmarted me. The mighty Muldoon. I don't think so. Yo Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoked Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology signs a new year. is this place everything seems so big whoa or am I really really small Max hey what the heck is going on hoops no idea but I'm gonna find out okay here we go I'm ready Okay, so you move forward like this, I know how to do I know how to do and if you hold down, you run. E is jump. A? Okay, yeah. Hey. You said e. Signal detected. <laughs> Buzzer. Something. Whoa. It's detected. What Grab was a sap happening? up here. Some sort of signal. Maybe it's coming from nearby. There you go. All right, here's our first soul station. Let's grab these uh, notes. I grabbed one, you can grab the other one. I'm guessing this isn't the only one of these science pods. I should keep searching and see what else I can turn up. Ooh, fiber band-aids, yes. Uh, let's do a stone. Yes, that's what we need. We need the axe and the... Double sphere. Yeah, so that's <laughs> can I make? Oh, the axe. I need that. Okay. Oh, look at the size of that ant. As long as Honestly, he won't get you along. I'm just glad it's not big enough. Okay, to so you can craft you a spear. Whoa, where are you headed, Ant? <laughs> I know. Hopefully by 
and then A. Okay, our first night. Hit the wrong button. Okay, ready? Push the button. <laughs> Ooh, light show. <laughs> Nothing happened. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. Yep. After all that build up, this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, so you get donors are chopping down the grass as I forgot that I was going to e push buttons right here. There you go. Good job. Okay, there's gonna be a bunch of these red mites everywhere. Looks like that little red thing's itching for a fight. Good job. I'm trying to peep it here. Yeah. Big red thing. Must be a mite. Where do you peep? Uh, Why? I already got it. Having a little peep. <laughs> peep in a spot. Peep. Having a little peep. <laughs> here, where'd you go? Over here. Getting these guys off here. Oh, you gotta, oh these guys you gotta kill. Yeah. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I'll kill the next one. Okay, it's right here. Good job. Oh, Good job. Grab I this. Up there and push the button. Go for it. Um, you got the one that's blinking. There you go. Oh. There you go. Good job. Yay! <laughs> did you do? <laughs> no clue. Want to go find out? <laughs> oh, it does have a little thing on there. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That glowy little... thing looks like some real nerd stuff. The thing. I have isolated the source of the particle oh, irregularities. To check they the appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking uh, process. Machine. Should have had one on if it I too. adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking uh, yeah, that one that we pushed button. process. Oh, Burgle, please tape bring on up the readings one. for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z yeah, particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle 2. Raw science. <laughs> Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Okay, here's Burgle. 
You can help burgle. <laughs> oh, this. There's no burgle chip over here. That's crazy. There used, used to be one. Oh, there ain't one now? Yeah. I have fallen and I am not appropriately shaped for getting up on my own. We'll get this taken care of. <laughs> He's talking, it's great. Cat with her roll. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. <laughs> I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you. But hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. <laughs> That's great. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be- It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. <laughs> Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! -ha! That is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! <laughs> Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained Hell. more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. <laughs> I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Pro Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. 
cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the Ark and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward in my science shop. You can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch ships and try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day. Thanks. Okay, so <laughs> the, yeah. Oh, there's some science right here. And there's a uh one success after another! I have returned yep. Burgle to his original size! Good. It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%! Not working. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle okay. indicates, there is some minor hmm. insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another okay. time. Yes, it. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues, but audentes fortuna you what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle, I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. Oh, that's poor guy. I can really use some good grilling right Smithy now. Smithy says we need that. Cooking. It's the thing that shows resources. It's not power on, it's power it on. I mean, we do. Yeah. Oh, here's the cassette tape. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause uh, them to fall apart over time. This, uh, but they tape. will do for now. Brutal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you no, to monitor you don't these have power to fluctuations me. and inform me if they right exceed there. acceptable limits. So stay right there. Hello, my name is Burgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in yeah, cooking, just, flipping, yeah. and grilling. Unless you want to attempt to go across grilling, there. A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping oh. brethren now consigned to the scrappy. We're gonna make us, we need to make us canteens to see. Let me analyze this stuff real quick. There's the gas mask, so that's cool. 
There's the red ant stuff, so that's cool. Let's do one more. Let's do the shell. Yeah. There we go. All kinds of goodies. Okay, so. Okay, grass floor. Yes, we're getting that one. All up here on camp. Uh huh. Let's see. You did it! Good job! Okay. Three, two. There we go. Sweet. We can decorate a little bit better later. <laughs> yeah, we gotta build a mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. What's chasing me? Oh, it's me. Run! What's chasing you? Hold on. Oh, it's a wolf spider. Shut <laughs> run up. <laughs> Woo, you got poison too. It's killing me all the way. It's gonna kill me. Ladybug coming through. Ugh. Holy crap, I was just over there working. Do you have any sap and fiber? Oh, there's two of them. Just stay over there. Yeah. I got enough to make some. I got it. Yeah, anything that you don't want to use for a minute. Yeah, go ahead and pick it. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! Yay. I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolly official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me. The grass! Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait. What's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today the world has changed forever. Who was great? So excited about being tiny. Yeah. He didn't wish that he had it. Now don't go too far that way. <laughs> Crap. No. Armoring up. <laughs> Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. I'm hoping he doesn't see this. <laughs> Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. Yeah. We've accomplished a lot. Yes, we have. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope I catch you guys next time. Okay, bye!